Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Genie and Tales. Today we are here to meet one of the sponsor of our Garpa event, which is organized by Canadian Art Desi Culture Club. And here is Mr. Jasmine Dua. So let's meet him. Hello, Mr. Jasmine. How are Hi. you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, we are pleased to uh, be one of the sponsors for this Garba event, and we are actually very uh, proud for what the Canadian uh, this group is doing for mm -hmm. to promote the culture here in Canada. Okay. So, Mr. Jasmeet, how do you feel about sponsoring Gujarati event? Because I know it is completely new for you. Because you are Punjabi, right? Yeah. And then suddenly you are sponsoring Gujarati Garba event. So, how do you feel about it? And how do you get to get to it? So, uh, see the whole point of uh, being able to sponsor any kind of an event in Canada is that you're trying to promote the Indian culture. Mm -hmm. So, it does not matter whether it is a Punjabi culture or it's yeah. a, a Gujarati culture mm -hmm. or for that matter any other culture. It's all about being able to promote the Indian culture and I'm very impressed by what Ajay is doing in his Canadian Desi Arts and Cultural Group and the way he's promoting the culture, uh, the Indian culture here in Canada. So, being part of this uh, uh, event actually does uh, feel a, a pretty good, uh, you know. So, so, we can, we are part of that Indian culture which is being promoted here in Canada. I was very curious to ask this question because how did you, you know, land up in this profession? You have to say that you have to immigration process and you know, logo ko help karni hai, business. Hai. How did you end up here? It's a long story actually. I am a, uh, an engineer by profession. Mm -hmm. I am an electronics engineer and I do have a company which still we, uh, we are, we, I do own a company which still is doing the engineering work and we are doing uh, some projects with uh, the government of Canada also. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, see when I landed here in Canada, I landed here in Canada in 2012-2013 and at that time even I went through a lot of hassles and I also had hired an immigration consultant mm -hmm. but uh, the problems that I faced when I came here and the, the process that I had to go through mm -hmm. that is the reason that actually made me you know somehow trying to, I wanted to make it easier for the other people who wanted to come mm -hmm. to Canada and uh, you have to realize that you know one of the tenets of uh, the Canadian immigration program is uh to get the families to get together okay. so that's something which is a very very you know satisfying feeling when you get mm -hmm. somebody in the from yeah. uh, somebody who's here alone and when you're able to get a family member here to join them i did go through a lot of problems and uh, uh, during my immigration process and at that time i kind of felt you know there is a huge need for a, a, you know an immigration consultant who can be a friend and a guide Sure. to people and can help them immigrate easily to Canada. So one of the main uh, points that I want to is, start, uh, say here is that, you know, I've heard a lot of uh, people craving about immigration consultants not being available, that communication not being there. We have a policy that we make sure that we reply to every client that we have within 48 hours. That's right. So that, That's that, uh, that communication channel is always open and mm -hmm. they don't feel that, you know, they are not being provided the information they need right. as and when required. All right. So I have, uh, you know, read on your website about your mission and vision statement, which says helping businesses, helping families to, you know, come together and stay together forever. So that's really uh, good. Can you brief us about your services, what all things you provide? So we do help uh, people who are already here uh, uh, get their families here in mm -hmm. Canada. So the students and uh, people who are in work permit whenever they want to get their families mm -hmm. to Canada. We help with the history visa. We help with the open work permits uh, for the spouses. We also help with the parents and grandparents programs and spousal visas, spousal sponsorship visas. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, for families in India who are planning to immigrate to Canada, mm -hmm. we do help you with your express entry. We do help you. Uh, now, express entry started started since July 2022. Yeah, and uh, since then, the scores are pretty high. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to meet those targets, it's very difficult. Yeah, so one of a couple of two ways that you should be considering is NMIA, which gives you 50 points. Now, NMIA work permits are available and I can help. We have some uh, employers who 
have uh, approved LMIAs or are looking for workers when right. they can tell them, give them LMIAs. Other than that, we also help with provincial nomination. Now, the advantage of provincial nomination is mm -hmm. that it gives you 600 points. Wow, and that great. ensures uh, invitation to apply from express entry. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but again, all of these uh, LMIA and uh, provincial nomination programs are job based. So, in case you have a job offer and you think you can uh, qualify under those uh, programs, please do reach out to us and we can help you there. And we have a very high success rate in all of these programs. Okay, that was all about the services which Equity Immigration provides. Now, I want to hear more about the recent developments which is going on right now. Because every day there is something new coming up for Canada for immigration purpose. So, the people from India are very hopeful about the news by reading it. So, can you please, you know, have, you know, shade some light on it? So, uh, recently, there was a motion 44 passed by the Canadian Parliament mm -hmm. where they gave a mandate to the Immigration Minister Fraser to come up with some kind of a program to help uh, uh, people who are students who are here on study permit and people who are here on work permit to provide them a pathway for uh, uh, becoming a PR quicker than what they are, mm -hmm. how they are becoming now. Uh, and I think uh, last Wednesday uh, was the time to the time when uh, Immigration Minister did out reply with his uh, uh, mandate that uh, he had prepared on what all uh, uh, IRCC is going to do mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, people here in Canada can become PR easily. Mm -hmm. So they are planning to strengthen the pathways to work for uh, students mm -hmm. and uh, people with work permits for to get their PR easily and quicker. Other than that, they are also planning to open the uh, to uh, to uh, get the express entry uh, draws, which will be moving towards more job based draws. Right. So they are trying to look at what kind of uh, what is the requirement of Canada now? What kind of workers are they looking for? Right. And they will be doing more uh, employee employee employment based. Uh, draws than general general draws. So general draws might take a back seat, and the employment based draws become become mm -hmm. a more standard going forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, other than that, uh, there is a new knock system which is coming up. Mm -hmm. So from November two thousand uh, November uh, sixteen November twenty twenty two, the Canada immigration the express entry is all moving towards the knock. 2021, which is a tier based system, mm -hmm. and uh, they are expanding the jobs which can become eligible mm -hmm. here in Canada. They are mm -hmm. also trying to look at, you know, they want. They are saying in this new knock system is that even though education is important, but people who have experience in certain uh, employment sectors where they might not meet the uh, education requirements are also important. So they mm -hmm. have added those additional right. uh, years within the knock system, yeah, the national right. occupation yeah. forces. Yeah. So basically it is like having a job offer or having a good uh, NC job, right? No, not only job offer. They're saying, mm -hmm. What they're saying is if you have uh, the experience mm -hmm. in India right. on a specific uh, uh, job board, well, yeah. yeah, you can become, so you'll be getting right. higher wage. Right. So express entry, right. express entry is never job based. Mm -hmm. uh, LMIA and uh, uh, provincial nomination are job based, job, but express yeah. entry is without a job, uh, it's not based on your jobs. Mm -hmm. In Canada, it's based on what kind of experience you have out of Canada. Okay, that's okay. Um, one of the major issue people face is like IELTS examination. Okay, so whenever they hear IELTS, they all start, you know, yelling and screaming like it's very tough, it is difficult, how can we do that? And for to achieve any path or any target, IELTS examination is must, I guess. So, can you, you know, give us a, you know, brief about the IELTS examination? Is it that necessary after coming to Canada? Yes, IELTS is necessary and to be eligible under the express entry, mm -hmm. you have to get a minimum score. Uh, mm -hmm. So that uh, the score for uh, under IELTS, you have to have a score of six under all the under all the four categories of IELTS. Uh, IELTS is not the only exam. You could also think of CELPIP and you can also think of uh, there are a couple of other uh, exam categories that are eligible for uh, the English language. Uh, uh, to be able to qualify under express entry. Other than English language, you could also think of French. Mm -hmm. French has been, because, see, understand, uh, uh, Canada, Canada is an English speaking and a French speaking country. Yeah, and right. if you want to be successful when you come to Canada and you can integrate within the society, you mm -hmm. should be able to speak 
English or oh, French, French or both of them. Yeah. So they are also giving weightage to the French language. Mm -hmm. So yes, English and uh, French language uh, knowledge is important and you need to be able to qualify under that. Mm -hmm. So if you are planning to come to Canada, IELTS examination you have to give. What I also recommend is that anytime you are planning to go uh, write your exam, IELTS exam or self-tip exam, make sure you get at least a couple of weeks of tutorial because the tutorial not only guides you uh, about English language but it also gives you tells you about the pattern that needs to be followed there and help it is helpful for people to understand and clear and uh, get good scores in that exam. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so very much Mr. Jasmeet to, to you know I had uh, I had a beautiful conversation and you know very informative it was for the people who are going to come soon to Canada and already staying here in Canada. Yeah, thank you for having me, Jafar. Mm -hmm. And uh, in case you need any more information about different immigration programs, we do provide a 15 minute free consultation. You can reach out to me at justneet.dua at equityimmigration.com or my phone number is 778 318 1973. You can WhatsApp me and I can schedule an appropriate time. Mm -hmm. uh, the address for our location is available in the description of this video. And it was nice to be talking with Jalpa. Please do not miss to like and subscribe to her YouTube channel, which is T Me and Tales. And thank you so much for having me, Jalpa. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. See you all next time to have more informative videos on my channel. See you.